so big ideas and the disconnect between them and trying to organize the left um, for professional reasons and also personal reasons lately as always i've been reading a lot of marx and i think he got a lot right but um you know he truly expected that the more complex capitalism got the more likely it would be that workers would organize against it mm -hmm. and clearly we're in a moment we've long been in a moment where that is not the case we look around and like I see that capitalism is organized such that if we could just um, expropriate all that it's built for everybody, it would work really well. Like Amazon would be a great thing if we mm -hmm. all owned it, Walmart, et cetera, but that's far from happening. And so how, how do we close that gap? Capitalism just seems to fuck our brains up in ways that make it um, really difficult to close that gap. So what, how do we do that? And Harvey, let's. So yeah, let, you, let me just respond. Let me take my instinctive response to what you were yeah. just saying. And can, you can call me naive if you wish, but I, I'm more and more convinced that the that I never bought into the idea of um, a one-dimensional man and and all that kind of. I just never did, because mm -hmm. as you know, I mean, my, my students just don't come in that that mm -hmm. one-dimensionally, mm -hmm. and I'm always surprised by the degree to which we. We hold capitalism responsible for somehow, you know, dividing the working class, which they do. But it really is the case. I mean, we could just do a hell of a job, a better job in having in campaign more effectively. I don't know what it was. They, they did what they could to prevent Bernie from getting the, 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 the nomination. But it is the case that in Wisconsin, you offer people a progressive agenda, and they will respond. And I can reduce, seriously, I'm going to tell you, I can reduce 2016's outcome, say, in Wisconsin, and even this time, to just sheer anger on the part of people, to just want to punch both parties in the nose, and Trump is a more effective way of doing that. And I, so I keep thinking that, that I mean, I, I think people just literally have to, have to go out and just show up. And even show up in terms of local party structures. Um, it's easy. It would be easy to take over county democratic parties and eventually the state parties. I'm absolutely convinced of it. And so my thinking is that that the failure is that we've bought our own theories too many times, or we've allowed ourselves to believe that the the force, you know is this power that the force be with you that it's that powerful okay against the imagination I, that's just my sense of things well yeah this, I, I, I don't mind if you, I, you yeah can help yeah me. no no but uh, no i mean i hear you um i would suggest uh i mean some modifications though i mean i don't um especially when you look at the last 45 years what we call you know the neoliberal era yeah. Basically. Um, common sense. What I mean, they've created a new common sense, right? Well, and, yeah. I, right. Yeah. Right. And it's not like Hayek or people who read Hayek did it, because because that would be easy enough to combat. But but they've done it by altering the matrix of incentives, like at every level, right? From uh, from from the municipality to global trade trade structures. Yeah. Uh, right, and I mean that makes it a lot tougher because it, because there's not even space for um, for um, at 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 the level of like everybody's um, um, I mean everyday actions. Right, the matrix of rationality that we operate in is one that privileges the market, right, and the market forces. Yeah. Right, uh, and it's going to take some some effort to overcome that, and I. Uh, but I do agree with you, like the, the only way we're going to do it is through struggle and through kind of, you know, um, aggregating solidaristic interests, right, uh, through challenging the shit that people can re recognize it's really fucked up. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm not so sanguine about t taking over about, I mean, democratic parties at the local level and stuff. Yeah, and that, that's mostly because I'm, I'm feeling 
I've been feeling too uh, too marginal for too long, and I figured, how can I get myself back <laughs> right. in? Right. Oh, hey, well, I appreciate that too, brother. <laughs> and I certainly appreciate that. Uh, but uh, um, but yeah, I mean, so we've got something to overcome. But 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 frankly, I'll say this about the Marx thing, um, Andrew. To me, really, the only thing you need right, right to understand this moment is um, part part eight of volume one. Right, right of capital, right? I mean, because that's the logic that's play, playing out in front of us. Um, yeah. I mean, every day, um, and and it is. I mean, lo and behold, right after that thirty-year blip that Harvey and I grew, uh, grew, grew up in, turns out it really is that capitalism spreads immiseration around the globe. You know, <laughs> um, right? And once there's not not a cold war to be concerned about anymore. Um, and from that perspective, I mean, see, this is, you know, I really do think, and this is maybe going, seeing uh, to raise 50 cent bet and raising $100. But, but I really do think that one of the main dangers that's confronting us now is what a mutual friend has called Mac Wokeyism, right? Uh, because this is uh, uh, like, um, I won't mention any names, but but I know a union that's getting ready to do um, um, multiple setting of an anti-racism training, right? And the point of anti-racism training is counter solidaristic, right? But right. and and I think this goes back to the to 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 a point that Ture made that. One of the things that what, one one of the hurdles that we've got to overcome on the way to building the left that we don't have, but I think need, or I'm convinced need, is to break with the notion that whatever people of color do is by definition progressive. And and I know a lot of people don't think that they're doing that, but to the extent that we um, fail to meet the challenge of, of people whose political alignments are clearly not with the working class, trying to jack, jack us up to demand or you know, to hijack um, you know, the political agenda of, of, of the left, then, then, then we're doing ourselves a disservice and like doing, doing the American people a disservice. There, I'll go that far. Yeah, I'll add, can, if I could add to that, not that, not that the two old guys should monopolize the conversation, but, <laughs> but, but I also thought to myself that, this, that, that actually this past summer offered a remarkable opportunity that, that I wish labor had been more capable of responding to. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I spent the summer agonizing over the absence of A. Philip Randolph, you know? Right. And I, that, that, that moment, I mean, I couldn't go out in the streets and there were no streets to go out to here right now in Green Bay. But, you know, I, but I thought to myself, my God, this is, this is that moment where, right. where the likes of an A. Philip Randolph could, could literally hold a mirror up to this, these, right. these crowds and the labor movement and say, this, this is, a, this is an opportunity to organize right. as well as mobilize. And, right. uh, Sure, but it's also important, man. Like, there's a class politics that's being pl played out in that stuff too, and I think that's really important for us to keep in mind, right? I mean, two billion dollars from Bezos and Elon Musk and 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 I mean the rest of that shit, and it went somewhere, right? Like, it went to people, right? It went to Black Lives Matter groups, uh, and there are all kinds of charter school front front groups out there now. There's well, and that was two billion dollars as of June tenth. Right, that's right. Who knows how many billion cents? Right. Oh, no, um, exactly. Two, two billion dollars to to who? BLM and a host of other social justice. Right. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think I think it was like one point eight billion or something like right. that by, by June. Corporate 10th. money. 